Oh, mm, hello guys. Uh, another video. Yeah, I've been on a roll lately. So I just got this package today. It's not from JNT as it usually is. Uh, it's from Ninja Van. Hi. Okay. Let's open it. Ah, what, what is inside? So inside are mm, oh how many is this uh one uh, maybe I should open it I need something to open it I right, we have this one let's open it Uh, it's a bunch of legend figures. We have three copies of No. Mm hmm. Um, a chop shop. But I basically got this for a bargain price to get three shark tecons why three shark tecons what you're gonna do with three shark tecons well you could recreate the 1986 movie scene where where cup and well we're not gonna review this now we're gonna review no why so yeah speaking about um no is a shark tecon he's uh, one of those uh, shark robots that the what what do you call those judge like quindizons yes the quindizons use uh, as punishment in that 1986 movie do you remember that one uh, I so I got three of these but actually I have another one but it's in storage and it's quite hard to fish out. So now I have three of these. And packaging is okay. I, I think this was opened before. Or not. Or it was water damaged again. But this time this was not from China or anything. This is just from a local reseller. Mm, it's open one. Right. Oh, it has a card. I kind of miss this. I, I like the Prime Wars trilogy. Oh, this is the manual. Right. And here he is in his clamshell. Let's uh, free him from all this plastic. Twisties, keeping him in place. Oh yeah, I was talking about the card. Kinda miss having cards, huh? It's something else to collect. Oops. Now his tail's gone. It fell, and I can't find it. Where did it go? Huh. Anyway. The tail's gone. Well, the tail slash. Why? Oh, it's mistransformed while it's there. And then you put this. This. And. Uh, yes. Alright. Oh, There's another version of, of a Sharkticon. Okay, I can't. I, I was doing a bit and now I can't really find it. It's somewhere here in this general area. But you need that to transform him. Um, you need that because that's gonna be his uh, shark tail. Anyway, here he is. It's a small little creature, small little robot. Um, that's why you need a lot of them because you, you kind of need 
um, if you're uh, it's really for army building um, one thing that's different about this one from wait what is this okay from the ones in the cartoon was the the ones in the cartoon had black head uh, uh, his its head was black anyway wait I'm gonna release the others from their plastic prison okay, so yes I think I lost that weapon so anyway it fell down here I haven't seen it yet I think it went under somewhere uh, or one of the borrowers got it anyway this is no they are shark tikans and they are more fun if they are more than one um, when this came out a lot of collectors were hoarding it they were army building um, I only got one because it was freaking expensive it's like how much was this uh, 600 before I think it was 600 before or less 500 to 600 pesos that's like um, 200 pesos is uh, 1 dollar is 50 pesos so if it's 600 pesos uh, do the math <laughs> anyway <laughs> I got this for a steal uh, it's like a thousand plus for three and then I got a free other legend figure the chop shop one uh yeah i was talking about cards a while ago uh, i i kind of miss the cards I, um i kind of like it i kind of like the card more than uh what do they give us now uh like a galactic space map a space map or something like that um i'd prefer a card because uh like me i usually throw away the box and sometimes i'd like to keep the box because you know um the artwork in the box is really awesome it's really great uh, and as an artist i i'd like to keep those for references for something that i might do in the future and cards give you um a piece of that packaging well actually you could cut it up but that's quite uh but that's asking too much of an effort for somebody who's lazy but yeah i miss the cards i hope they put back cards i mean it's a piece of the artwork um found in the packaging you can keep as a keepsake uh, you can also collect it um here we are looking at the titan's return no it's a legendary glass figure uh nice nice very nice artwork and it has some stats well i'm not i'm not really a stat guy but yeah maybe a bio it would have been better if there was a bio or a quick quick description of what the character is about I mean, that's in, in, enough about the cards so this is uh, a shark um the packaging says his name is no so it's a particular shark Tekon which has a name so to transform him Oh yeah, I was talking about another iteration of a Shark Decon, a recent one. Uh, Cyberverse had a their own versions of Shark Decons. Okay, this will be your feet. Mm -hmm. Put it down. Down. Okay. And then everything is on the ball joint. Uh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Um what do you guys think about the I put his head there. About the announcement of the third installment for the um the War for Cybertron line. They do everything in trees right now, right? I mean they did the Prime Wars trilogy uh and then see these pegs you will now place them there this is really tight i don't know why 
Okay. And there. Peg those in there. If you can. Okay. Oh yeah, um rambling uh siege for war for cybertron the third installment would be called kingdom and it would be yeah. beast wars well the speculation is it's beast wars and of course there's all the <laughs> there's already been listing and i put this here and that's it's gonna be in this is going to be his fin and then this one I uh, see that groove put it here that's like a tail and that is a cute little piranha looking robot yeah his jaws move not only his lower jaw move like that and also the upper one and uh, he, he's squatting like a a uh, frog frog squat like this. Yeah, uh, like I said, there is a no, no not the no, a shark Tekken figure in Cyberverse line. That one's itty bitty like this one. Uh, I mean, about like this. I don't have one, so I can't compare it. But I do have a Quintizon from cyberverse and let's see how he looks like with a quintesson from cyberverse oi so here's a quintesson from cyberverse uh, it has that rotating head gimmick and it has tentacles on a ball joint and what else can it do that's basically what it can do just can change his face and uh, very distinct and animate <clears throat> animation like faces uh very different from the g1 986 1986 movie uh the only reason why i have this is because i wanted an original representation of a quintesson from hasbro i mean there is I don't know if there has been third party ones, but no, I haven't had a Quintesson toy before. So I bought this, and then right after I bought this, there was the announcement that there's gonna be a, an Earthrise Quintesson. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, um, that's how the Shark Decon is transformed in another one. I really hope I can find the club of the other one. So, again, you there's a hinge here on his shoulder put it down pull it down move the fin there the cavity inside is uh, in his back put his head there raise his jaw and then put his feet together like so like that and then Oops, sorry. These pegs will go in there. Well, first, yeah, clip his face to get, and then, and then put it there. Clip. Yeah, I was saying a while ago. Uh, his. The difference between him and the one in the 1986 cartoon was that his head, uh, this part is black instead of gray. And uh, a third party company, actually not a third party company, I'm not really sure what MFT McFans Toys is. Is it a third party company? Or is it a bootleg company? I'm not really sure if their designs are original. I, I, I guess their Omega Supreme something something dragon is original. But I am not sure about the others. And I'm definitely sure that the design for their Sharktikons are not their original designs since 
those are just basically copies of this of this figure except recolored and yeah and that one is more uh tune accurate if you will if you will and of course you put his tail there hmm. now we have a quintesson judge mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a bunch of shark tickons. do i have to transform this on camera too yeah i guess um and now you can recreate rec well you can recreate well you need an alicon okay uh, and there will be an alicon coming out also uh for the earth rice line okay and actually they have this box set uh i don't know if this is the same figure that's included in the box set but that box set includes uh one quintesson an alicon and a shark Ticon. and i'm not wait i'm gonna look it up that so uh according to my google search uh there will be a transformers war for cybertron trilogy quintesson pit of judgment five pack so that one is gonna be inspired by the scene that i've been telling you about from the g1 cartoon movie from 1986 uh, and it will include a quintesson judge an earth riser deco shark Ticon, a titan's return redeco Oh, yeah, so it's basically this guy again. I'm hoping he has a different color way or something. Um, a Quintesson Prosecutor, just a figurine. A Cranix figurine fits inside both Shark Ticon's mouth and Quintesson's Judge's alt mode cage. And it has a cardboard display. I'm. I really wish that those cardboard display would be printed on like high impact board. High impact boards are plastic boards, um, so that it can be more durable, and so that when you play with it, it won't be um, easily destroyed. Uh, I mean, wear and tear if you're gonna play with it uh, with all those toys, or if you're gonna let your children play with it. That cardboard diorama won't last that long um just a thought i mean yeah that would be more expensive since it's, it's technically will be plastic also but it would really be great if those um plastic dioramas hasbro has been uh, inserting especially with the studio series and also um the netflix siege line uh, it had it uh, I guess a Teletron diorama. I'm not sure, but yeah, but it's made out of cardboard. If that would have been made out of impact board, high impact board, plastic board, that would be great. Another one would be from the Power of the Primes Optimus Primal um, throne, and the black one, the one with four Prime Masters. Yeah. That would have been awesome if that was made out of impact board of the plastic impact board. So yeah. Um. Anyway, I'm just taking a look, and I guess this video has gone long enough. <laughs> so these are the Shark Ticons from the Titan Returns line. They're awesome little cute figures. Very simple to transform. Um. Their jaws, their mouths can open from down and from up which is weird because you only open your jaw from your lower jaw but it's a toy and if you have a lot of it you can recreate that iconic scene in the g1 movie 1986 movie wherein cup and hot rod were on trial with the quintesson judge so yeah okay I'm sorry if most of the figures are off camera or this is an impromptu video <laughs> i just got it and just wanted to make a video today so there guys thank you for watching this video and if you are inclined please do share this video to your friends and if you like the video leave a like and also a comment also please subscribe to my channel 
and if you like the video and you would like more videos like this please press on press the notification bell so that you know when i'll be uploading more stuff like this okay so that's it guys thank you for watching stay at home stay safe bye bye